Hi boys and girls and welcome to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to talk about this fabulous photograph. It's an actor's headshot. Now it looks like I shot it in a studio, but in fact I shot it on location. So stay tuned and I'll tell you how I put it all together and what was involved. Well, welcome back. So how did I put this together and what was this all about? Well, you know, a lot of times you have to um, go and shoot an actor, especially if they're well known, on location. You can't always get them to come to your studio. So you've got to figure out what you're going to do. So I got an email from Kerry Stevens, Playboy Playmate, and she asked me if I would pop over to her place and shoot a new actor's headshot for her, which was no problem for me because I can go and shoot anybody, anywhere, anytime. So I got all my gear together, went over to a place, and when I arrived, I looked around to see if I could find somewhere that would be suitable. Now, sometimes you can shoot inside the house and use the background as part of your look that you're going for, but in this particular case, we wanted something very, very neutral. So I knew I had to put up a backdrop. Now, the backdrop I used was black and not a, a gray or slate gray because Kerry has a little bit of warmth in her hair and she's not totally a dark, dark brunette. Now, obviously, with a blonde, the black background's no problem, but if you have somebody who has dark hair, brunette, you really want to have a slightly lighter background, not go with complete black, or at least put some light on it. Now, what I did was I looked around the house and I found a nice location for her to sit and a place where I could put up my backdrop with no problems to make it look a little bit like a studio. But the cool thing was is it meant that I could go out and put my light on the decking, which you can see in this picture here. Uh, which is a parabolic umbrella, which I think is a little overkill. It was a little big, but you know, it got the job done. And I shot into the house via the sliding door. So she was sitting in her dining room and I was out on the veranda shooting directly at her seating. Now the other thing I did was, as you can see here, as I put a silver cart underneath so that any light that was bouncing off from my main light source would then reflect back up and get rid of a little shadow underneath of her nose, which we call a butterfly, or some of the light that might be underneath her, of her chin. So the reflector was very handy and it's a helpful uh, thing to have when you go do something like this for a nice headshot. Now because it was overcast, there was a lot of diffuse light bouncing around and because also I had positioned her within the first part of that room, there was a lot of nice diffuse lighting coming in as fill as well. Not enough to light up my background, but enough to really just make her pop and also make her outfit stand out a little bit. Not just purely hoping that my main light source would just light up everything. So I had a little bit of fill to work with. Now the other thing is, is that a lot of you like to just put your camera on a tripod and just get the same look, boom, 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 and get your person to just move around in front of the camera. Now, I find that sometimes that sort of helps me back a little bit because I'm looking for some angles. So I like to free flow with mine, and as you can see here, I'm moving around, working with her, and sometimes an angle shows up and it's something that I really like. So that's why I don't have my camera sitting on a tripod for this particular shot. Now. Going back to what I said before, if you can find somewhere in the house to shoot, that's great. But sometimes another neat place to shoot would be in the open section or the first part of a garage with the door open. You get some nice soft light there too. And as you can see, when I converted one of these shots into a black and white, I got that kind of Peter Lindbergh thing, which uh, he's one of my favorite photographers of all time. And um, this sort of emulates that kind of look he would normally go for, which is main light with a lot of soft light bouncing around, a lot of fill. So there you have it. That's how I did it. And the main thing is, is to work with your person, get some of those angles, and at the same time, change some tops, get different tops. As you can see, we went from red to another color to a blue, and that gave her a lot of variety that she could look through and pick out the shots that she really liked. So that's a helpful tint there. Don't just pick one outfit and shoot one outfit. Anyway, if you like that story, you might want to pop over to my website, andrefelixphoto.com, and check out my blog. I've got lots of interesting things on there, uh, lots of helpful tips and tricks and hints, great photographs, diagrams, and some helpful ideas that might send you in the right direction for something you want to do of your own. You can also download a PDF of a book I put together, and you can follow me on Instagram, see what I'm up to. As you know, I'm a working photographer, so I can't do these videos all the time. Um, but if you have subscribed, thank you very much. If you haven't, maybe it's time you subscribed. You can also go over and check out my commercial work 
on andrewfelix.com. And there you'll find out that not only am I a working photographer, but I'm also a web developer, an editor, and a videographer. So there you have it. And all I can say is thanks a lot and bye for now. Thank you.